So hello everyone, today we will be solving this differential equation. It seems to be very simple, very short, but then I think uh, some of you might be having some problem doing this. So that's the reason why I've decided to solve this. So first of all, uh, we are going to change it into standard form. Then I've been, I've even made a video about the linear differential equation. So if you have not checked that out, then please do check it out. So the form is dy over dx plus uh, let's say py is equal to qx so only there is only a sign difference over here uh, else it's in the standard form so what we can do is dy over dx plus minus 2x y is equal to x so now it is in the standard form so this way we can assume this to be p and 1 to be q over here multiply so this will be q we don't necessarily need it but then yeah it's easier if we do so so we are trying to now find the integrating factor so before that let's find the integration of p so that is minus 2 dx so minus comes outside the uh, 2 as well comes outside as it's a constant the integration of this is dot integration of x is x square over 2 so this 2 cancels this 2 is equal to minus x square you can leave out the integrating constant and we are going to keep it directly at the end so this is the answer for this so the integrating factor that we can write as if is e to the power integration of p so of course respect to x so is equal to e to the power minus x square mm, wait a minute uh, we can remove this cover page and then let's add a few more pages sorry for the delay but then yeah so let's move to the next page so now what we will be getting is we'll be multiplying so wait a minute i'll tell you so this is the standard equation so sorry if the dog's barking is disturbing you uh but then let's continue with the question so here we go so we are going to multiply the integrating factor and the original equation so that way uh, what we will get is e to the power minus x square uh, dy over dx uh, minus 2x times y is equal to x times e to the power minus x square so now i've talked about it in my previous video as well if you are to simplify this with the help of a uh, product rule of derivative then what you will get is d uh, y times e to the power minus x square of course with respect to x and the right hand side remains as it is so not a worry so if we are to integrate both the sides then and send this here then what we will get is this if any of this step is not very clear to you then i recommend you watching my a uh, video on linear differential equation i think that's going to make it easier everything understanding this very easy so i've talked about the antagonistic nature of uh, integration and derivative so they cancel each other out so the left hand side will simply be this now we have a problem with the right hand side and i think many of you could do your solution till here but then had problem doing this so i think you thought about using the uh, product rule of integration and using all the eyelid rule that i have been talking about in my previous video but then if you are to use it then you are going to have problem midway so the best way you can solve is using substitution method and i'll show you what i mean by that but before that multiply and divide this question with two wait yeah So what I did right now and why I did, you will be understanding it just in the next step. So let's copy this as it is. This is x is equal to 1 over 2. So 
wait i don't think we even need to write this so but then i'll explain it to you anyway so if you are to suppose minus x square as b and then differentiate that with respect to x then you will get minus 2x or 2x and if you are to just find the value of dp then you will find it as minus 2x dx we have 2x over here we have dx over here and if we are to send this minus sign over here then my 2x times dx will be minus dp and this will be p so the solution will be simple if it's confusing for you then i'll just solve it and show it to you so look this is what i'm telling so now we're just going to let um, let minus x square is equal to p let's move to the next page now let's differentiate p with respect to x what we will be getting there is minus 2x therefore minus dp is equal to 2x times dx and if you are to look over here 2x times dx we can replace it with d minus dp and then the power will also be p so what we can do is so the solution will be is equal to what will it be so it will be 1 over 2 minus e to the power p dp let's not try, write the left hand side now minus ep i think you know the value of this it is very common plus the integrating factor i think we can write it here as well yes so now let's replace the value of p with the original value containing x yes now what you can do is you can uh, send this e to the power minus x squared to the right hand side i mean divide it so that way what you would be getting is y is equal to minus 1 over 2 plus c yeah i think this is it now i'll explain you what i did here so when this term wait, let me change the color when this term goes here and divides this term cancels this term and when this term divides the integrating constant since it has minus sign over here when it moves up the sign becomes plus so that's the only difference or the change we can see and this is your final answer uh, if you want then you can leave your answer in this form as well but then I think it's better if you leave it in this form so there you go this is the answer to this question it's a little bit difficult uh, you sh uh, should know when to use the I late rule and when not to but then yeah this question gets solved this way thank you for joining with me and hope to see you in my next videos thank you